Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you a different video. As you know, I just got VR and I bought Oculus Rift. Um, before I bought it, I didn't know that um, recently the newest update for the Oculus Home, which is this right here, um, requires that to be open and Oculus Home runs in the background. Even if you're using just Steam VR, um, I guess I didn't do enough research, but I have found a solution um, how to actually use the old, just like the basic stuff you need for Oculus to run just Steam VR then. And it will help your game to play a lot better. You won't have Oculus Home, Steam VR, and the game running at the same time and have horrible frames. <clears throat> now, my VR has it's not the greatest, uh, not the setup is not the greatest right now, but it, I, it works for what I can do in it. Um, so without further ado, what I'm going to explain to you, I'm going to explain the best I can. Um, first thing, I'm going to put the link in the description for this. This is where I found it on Reddit. I will put that in the description below. Um, you can follow that or you can watch my video. All right. So first thing you want to do is pull this up. Now there's a Google Drive here. As you said, it's for here. Love of all the holy. Scan it. I'm a stranger on the internet sending you free files. So Google Drive, for me, it automatically scanned it for viruses. Um, I scanned it with my antiviruses, had no issues, but I recommend doing it yourself just in case you don't want any computer issues or anything like that. Uh, so first thing, download that. That's going to be called uh, Oculus Small, I think. Yeah, Oculus Small. So you want to extract that like this. Z z and then just go to small, then you double click in there. There should be an Oculus thing called in there. Then you just go to where your Oculus folder is for your computer. If you already have the home put into it. If you have it set up, pretty much it's going to be in there. Mine is in program files in my C drive, which is my style state drive. I don't figure out an option about it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Uh, but that's where it was. So what I did is I went in here. This is my new version of Oculus Home. I went in here and switched the name to one. And then I copied and pasted the Oculus folder from the download that I extracted. And I copied it in here. What that does is it tells it this thing to open this folder because it's the same name. And then if you do that, let's go into. Now you gotta go, I recommend doing a desk tray. I haven't tested the other way, but I have all my desktop shortcuts in here. Uh, I haven't played all these games, but let's just say uh, I want to play Dust Season. I hit that. It should pop up. You won't see Oculus Home pop up at the bottom at all. Oh, wait. I, hold on. I know that thing I forgot to tell you. That's why it's giving the issues. Okay, it's got to quit. It's got to quit everything. Give it a second. Oh, that actually started. All right, we're just just go that down. Okay. The other thing you need is, which most people should have this Oculus Tray tool. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description below for this too, just in case you don't have this. But you want to set these two options, start Oculus service when tool starts, stop Oculus service when tool exits. The other thing you want to do is go to services here. <clears throat> Let me pull that over for you. You go down all the way down to Oculus, which is in O's. Uh, it's going to be right here, the runtime service. You go to properties and you go to manual. That's it. That's all you need to do there. But before you copy anything over make sure you have the service stopped now to test this i'm gonna put it up running that went down the tray now i can pull the folder up play the game <clears throat> as you see it's loaded on the screen i can demiss this the sound's going to come through my speaker at the moment. 
Let me switch, actually, if I could switch it to audio. Default. Okay, okay. So now if it's appear on the screen, let me grab my headphones and see if I can get it. Yeah. Now I I'm not gonna put my headphones on. At the moment, it's still loading the game in. And there you go. You look around, do what you need to, and you're all good. Put that back up. And we'll quit out of the game again. Quit out. All right. So as you just see at the bottom, there was no uh, Oculus home running. No Oculus program opened up. Now I'm going to stop the service. We're going to go back in here. The program files. All right. So what you do is the thing that's Oculus right now. Let's say you want to go back into Oculus home or you want to use the Oculus app to play a game on there. You hit put two. You hit continue. Well, I have to hit continue. And then you take one and put it back to normal. And you'll do that ever so often. Like, okay, so Oculus, this one will get turned back to one. This one will get turned back to regular Oculus when you want to go back to this way. So now, when, now you just start the thing back up. And let's just um, try it again. I don't know how well this will work because last time I tried to open it. Yeah, it doesn't like when I open it with the home. Give it a second, it's loading. I know the frames are dropping and stuff like that. All right, so. The controllers are not connected. But as you see, it opened Oculus Home. Now, I didn't have to open that game. I could just use Oculus Home. Because why would I use a Steam VR game when I have Oculus Home running? Now, I can't get the Oculus Home to show up on the screen. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, but... Okay, I guess there's some updates going. But... As you see, that's how it works now. Let's go and close that. That'll turn that off. All right. So now you see that's done. Now let's... Oh, damn it. I hate when it does that. It just closes it when I'm trying to... All right, so... Shut it down. Go to program. Go here. Go to one. Continue. I know it's not the greatest thing right now, um, but it's what it works. And then now set the service back up. Lower it down. Go to VR hang. The dust season. Shouldn't have any issues popping it up now. <clears throat> it says head not. Oh, that's because I have to pick it up. And give it a second to respawn. There we go. We're back up and running with it. No Oculus running at all. And it's back up. And that's how it works, guys. 
The only other thing I have not figured out is how to get achievements showing up um, in the headset from Steam with just using Steam. Um, I don't know if it's still running through Oculus in the background. It's just not using anything. I haven't figured that out. But I did. I've been putting comments places so I can, because I like when achievements show up, so I know. Oh, I did that achievement. Cool. I can look, because I I like to, to aim for certain things and stuff. Uh, that's something I really enjoy. I don't want to ramble on, guys. But if you guys uh, have been using this, have you figured out how to do achievements? Is it working better for you? I think it's working a lot better for me now. I don't have two, three programs running at the same time. Um, especially when I try to record a lot of my gameplay. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found the info interesting or it helped you, make sure you leave a like. Also, kick the shit out of that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys with some more, probably Red Dead coming up and a lot more VR. Because I plan on playing a ton of that. Uh, that's why I bought it. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I will never miss my chance to go now. Attention viewer, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.